Hello, I'm Jamal Musaiva, an international social etiquette consultant and author of etiquette books. Etiquette, the least you need to know, and afternoon tea etiquette. If you would like to order my books, please make sure to email me at info.jamalmusaiva.com. I'll link it down below in the description box as well. If you are new to my channel, here I talk about etiquette, soft skills, self-development. If you're interested in all of that, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back to my channel. I'm delighted to see you here. Before I get into today's video, I just wanted to remind you that I have launched my own online dining etiquette course that's available on my website. The link is also in the description box. If you're interested to learn everything about formal dining etiquette from A to Z, make sure to subscribe and join my online course. Looking at the setup in this video, you probably have guessed that this is another dining etiquette video, but this is not just a typical dining etiquette video. This is my reaction to a popular Hollywood star eating Italian food. You probably have guessed it's Zendaya. Uh, she has just had a video made for Vogue India where she tries different kind of Italian food and answers some questions from her fans. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's take a look at that video and look at particular etiquette lessons that we can learn from that video. Fork on our left hand side, knife on our right hand side, table in the middle, there is a dessert book above the plate, there is a stemless water glass, there is a cheese board, and then there is also a bread basket. Let's look at the next episode and see what she's doing incorrectly and we'll discuss what's the right way of doing it. First things first, number one etiquette rule is that anything that is not edible and does not belong to the table in terms of cutlery utensils should not be placed on a table. That includes for formal and informal dining and lunch settings. It doesn't matter where you are, your phone should be kept away from the table unless you're expecting an urgent call, then you can let the person know who you're having dinner or lunch with that you're expecting a call. That's why you have the, ta the phone at the table. Other than that, no phone at the table at all. However, I understand that this is not a faux pas in this particular case because Zendaya is having is trying Italian food, meanwhile answering questions from Vogue India. So I understand that this is a format of the video and in this case it's an exception. Having, so to speak, forgiven her for using her phone at a table, the thing that is not acceptable is waving with the fork in her hand while she's answering the questions or talking. So she holds the fork and continuously waves the fork and speaks to the chef and then goes back to speaking to the audience. She could gesture and it's okay to use your hands while you're talking, but you would not have any utensil in your hand while you're gesturing. In the next episode, let's take a look at how she eats cheese from the cheese board, what kind of utensils she uses for that, and how she, in general, applies the cheese to her bread. So we see that she takes the cheese with the fork, she, takes, she cuts a piece of cheese using the fork, both as a knife and as a picker. And then she takes the bread. I think she took it even before that. She takes the bread, a little piece of it. And then she applies the cheese directly with the fork onto her bread. And then she eats it like that. It looks fine because I guess it's a casual setting and she's just enjoying her food. But I'll show you what would be the right way of eating it. Definitely not this one. Now let me show you what would be the right way of having cheese from the cheese board as well as a little bit of bread. So you saw in the video that she took a big chunk of bread and she'd keep on biting it from the bread. What I would suggest to do is break a small piece, just enough that will fit with one bite size. And then you'd use your knife to take a piece, a little bit of, to cut a little bit of that um, cheese that you like and then use the knife to transfer it first to your plate, always first to your plate, and only after you've transferred it to your plate, you can then pick it from your plate, just a little bit, apply it on that one bite size of a bread, leave your knife on the side like this, and then put this whole bite piece into your mouth and just enjoy it. In Zendaya's case, she has the cheese board all to herself, 
In this case, it's acceptable to transfer the cheese straight from the cheese board onto your bread. However, if you were to share the cheese board with someone else, then you'd first always transfer the cheese to your own plate and only after that apply it on a bread. This is for hygienic purposes. Also, if this cheese board were to be shared with others, there would be a specific knife that would be served with a cheese board. It looks like a double edged sword, like a mixture of fork and knife, where you would use one part to cut and then the top part to pick the cheese and transfer to your plate. This would be a utensil that would be placed by the cheese board so you can have that to cut and transfer the cheese to your own plate and not have to get into that cheese board with your own utensil. We see in this video that she has her elbows almost all the time on a table like that. It gives a little bit of a casual, you know, atmosphere. She's super relaxed, she's enjoying her time, talking to the fans and asking questions. But we know that number one etiquette rule that is taught from early childhood on is that no elbows on a table, particularly when you have food on a table. Once the food is all cleared out, it's then permissible to place your elbows at a table and have a casual chat with your friends. In all other cases, when there is any kind of food item on the table, never place your elbows at the table. The second etiquette mistake that we observe in this particular episode, again, has to do with how she's eating the bread. Uh, she still has her elbows at the table and she bites off from the bread like that, almost like she's eating a sandwich. What I would suggest to do is break a little bit bite size with her fingers like that and just enjoy one bite piece at a time. They'll look neater, more elegant, and more uh, chewable instead of having to bite a huge piece of bread and then have to shut her mouth in order to chew it. In this next episode, pay attention to how she transfers the rice balls from the dish in which she served to her own plate. So in this episode, you see that she's using a fork to help herself transfer the rice balls into her plate and then she uses her finger to support it in order not to drop it. So she does something like this and then she transfers it to her plate. Next thing you know is you're going to have stained fingers that are also going to smell and look queasy. Of course you can use a napkin to wipe off your fingers but to be more neat and elegant in this case I would suggest to use a knife to help yourself to transfer. So you would use the fork to pierce through the rice bowl and then you use the edge of the knife to support the rice bowl and then carefully transfer it to your plate. That way you don't get stained fingers and it looks more elegant and more feminine. In this next episode, pay attention to how she's eating the rice bowl as well as what is she doing with her hands and the utensils. First things first, we see that she eats the rice ball only with a fork, which is permissible. It could be the right way of eating it. You could then use the fork to cut the rice ball uh, with the side of the fork into a small piece and then use the piercing side of the fork to transfer the food into your mouth. However, if the crust is a little bit more hard, so it's difficult to cut it with a fork, you could then use the knife to make it look more easy and look less messy. So to use, use the fork to pierce through the rice ball, then use the knife to cut it, and then use the fork to transfer the rice ball into your mouth. In this way, it would look less messy as well as more elegant. Again, the thing that goes on throughout the whole video, not just in Zendaya's video, but also in Haley's eating style, is holding the fork and gesturing a lot while they talk. Understand that all these videos are intended to make the guests talk about whatever they're asked to talk about, but I would suggest that whenever they're talking, either hold the fork closer to the plate, above a plate like this, not raising it further above, or leaving the fork at the pause um, position and then talking with your hands, gesturing, explaining things. In this next episode, you'll understand why I always insist on breaking a bite size of bread or cutting the meat in a bite size instead of taking a big chunk of it and then having to chew it in your mouth. Take a look at this and we'll discuss. So in this episode, you see that Zendaya takes a big chunk of rice ball, puts it into her mouth, and then because she still has to talk, she has to cover her mouth, gesturing, wait a second, to the people 
uh, be recording her uh, so that she can chew it and then answer the question. Because she knows that the format of this video is Q&A as long as enjoying the dinner, I would suggest that she took a smaller piece, chewed it, and then easily would respond to all the questions that were coming in. Usually this is the most frequently asked question amongst my students when they're taking the dining etiquette course is that how do I continue interacting with people while I'm eating? And to, truth be told, the main purpose of any kind of gathering at the table for social setting, business setting, is to actually socialize and not to eat. You don't come to a business lunch or dinner in order to eat. You come there to talk to people. So keep that in mind throughout the whole course and either don't come too hungry, that helps a lot, and also while you're eating, be mindful that you need to still carry on the conversation. So take a bite-sized bite piece of whatever you're eating, chew it quickly so that you can continue the conversation. In the next episode, let's take a look at how Zendaya is eating the lasagna that she served. Just to remind you, there are two different kinds of eating styles. Let's take a look at them and then we'll discuss. So the way that Zendaya is eating the lasagna is very typical American style. It's also called zigzag because there is a motion going on back and forth between fork and knife. So what she would do is she would cut the piece of lasagna, then place the knife over the edge of the plate, then switch the fork to her right hand side and then eat it like this. The reason this eating style is called zigzag is because you keep on switching the fork from your left hand side to your right hand side. There's more motion happening while you're eating. I think a more elegant way of eating would be the continental or the European style. It doesn't mean that it's the right way of eating, however, I think because there's less motion involved, there's no switching of a fork from left hand to right hand, it looks like there's less effort, so it's an effortless way of eating. You'd hold the fork in your left hand and knife in your right hand, like you did in the beginning of the American eating style. You'd cut a little bit, a piece of lasagna. You would then keep the fork in your left hand and then just continue eating like that. In the European eating style, you would continue holding the knife and the fork like you did throughout the whole meal while you're eating it. However, if you wanted to take a bit of a lasagna and then take a bit of a break, then you could cut a piece of lasagna, place the knife over the top of the plate like that with the blades looking inward, and then hold the fork in your left hand and eat, and then take a little bit of a break. Another thing that I wanted to draw your attention to in this particular episode was the way that she's holding her elbows. They're way above the plate and way way away from her body, almost looks like she has chicken wings like that, holding her elbows very high up. What you have to do is tuck them and keep them closer to your body while you're cutting and eating. In this next episode, pay attention to the sound that she makes when she's eating, and I'll explain how you can make sure that you don't produce the sound when you're eating. So you probably heard the sound that her teeth made when they got in touch with a fork. And that's the sound you want to avoid and try not to produce any sound at the table. Generally speaking, the more well-mannered you are, that means that less attention you're drawing to your own manners. So the person that has best manners is the one that gets the less attention at the table. I think the best way to avoid making this sound is making sure that you, the utensils don't actually touch your teeth. Uh, so you use your lips, you purse your lips, and use your tongue to take the food out from the fork into your mouth. So leaving the fork with tines down and eating like that helps you prevent making those sounds. So that way the tines do not actually touch your teeth. In this next episode, she does this gesture that's considered a big faux pas in etiquette. Pay attention to it and see if you can figure out what it is. And if you have probably guessed it right, once she has finished eating lasagna, she pushes away her plate, indicating that she is done. You would never do that, neither at someone's home or if you're at a formal dinner. You would keep the plate as it is. You'd only point with your utensils that you are done, putting them in a finished position. You never move around utensils, cutlery, dishes, plate. 
You can of course do it at your friend's house if you are helping them out to clear from the table but before you do so you'd ask do you need my help can i help you and if they agree then you'd proceed on helping them otherwise never move things around at the table leave as they are because that indicates the people that are serving you and helping you that they're not doing their job properly the waiter will come to pick your dish having seen the utensils at a finished position in this episode, pay attention to how she's eating her pasta with pesto. Take a look at it and we'll talk about it. Also, in this particular episode, pay attention to how she uses a napkin and how it is placed. In this episode, you see how she is holding the fork in her right hand, holding it like she would a spoon. She takes a bit of pasta and then she somehow switches it into tines down in the air and transfers it to her mouth like that. There's a lot of switching of the position of the fork and then she holds the fork to catch anything that might come out of her mouth. She lifts the fork very much high in the air. What I would suggest to do is to keep the forks with tines down throughout the whole process of eating the pasta. So she would just use the tines down to pierce through the pasta, then just get enough of it a bite size of pasta and then she'll just eat it like that. Generally speaking, when you're eating pasta, you're not supposed to use any knife, you just use a fork to eat that. Even if you're eating spaghetti, you don't use a knife, especially if you're in Italy. So if you're a messy eater or if you're not very much familiar of how to properly eat spaghetti using just a fork, do not order it when you're going for a business lunch or a business dinner or any kind of formal dinner um, setting stay away from this kind of messy dishes because it takes a lot of practice to eat properly and to eat elegantly. Also, I don't know if you've noticed at this point in the video when she's eating her uh, pesto, she has the napkin placed on, on the right hand side just in the proper way that it was folded beforehand and she just picks it up and then blots her mouth like that. I was surprised to see the napkin by this point still at the table, folded in its original way at the table. As we all know from all the etiquette videos that I've done, the very first thing that you do when you sit at the table is make sure that you unfold your napkin underneath the table and place it on your lap. You shouldn't have started eating without doing that. Still on a topic of a napkin, let's take a look at the second clip that is also related to napkin and we'll talk about it. In this clip, you see that she has a napkin tucked into her shirt, uh, which is something that wasn't there in the beginning. She starts eating the pasta with pesto. It's not there. And in the next second, you see that in, tucked into her shirt. I guess she was told to put it on in order to protect uh, her beautiful shirt uh, because we know that pesto is a very very vivid green color and if it gets on your shirt it can ruin the whole clothing so when you're eating that you have to be very very careful and because it looks like she's not a very careful eater she's probably asked to tuck it in and protect her shirt so this is something you would never do uh, because that shows that you don't have really good table manners the only exception when you can tuck a napkin inside your shirt is if you're a child or if you're eating a lobster and not the kind of a lobster that you get in a formal dinner setup where it's t totally clean for you and is coming prepared but when you sit at the lobster bar and you have to cut everything yourself then only you'll be brought a napkin that you can cover your uh, tuck into around your chest um, so that to protect your clothing while you are cutting it and opening it the all other circumstances even if you're having business lunch and you're scared of getting something on your shirt make sure that you practice your table manners at home so you don't need a napkin like a baby bib in this next episode pay attention to how she's eating tiramisu So in the video, you see that she served her misu in a glass bowl, which is a little bit different from what I have right now. Um, and she served a spoon, which is what you're supposed to eat her misu with because it's soft. So she puts the spoon in, she takes a little bit of her misu, she has a little bit of it. And when she's talking, she continues gesturing with her spoon and waving with it. What I would do if I'm taking a break 
is either keep the spoon closer to my body or a better way is leave the spoon inside the bowl and continue talking to people around me. And when I want to resume, I'll just continue picking some more and eating more. Thank you so much for watching this video until the very end. I hope that you enjoyed this reaction video to Zendaya eating Italian food as shot by Vogue India. Please let me know what are some comments that you have for me or perhaps some video suggestions. I'll be more than happy to read them and shoot new videos for you. And before I let you go, I would like to thank GW Marriott Baku Hotel for hosting us and allowing us to shoot in this beautiful Zest restaurant. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!